everybody. Welcome to Sippin' with Screeden. I'm thrilled to have David Montgomery and Darnell Mooney here. You guys, how are you? I'm good, you? Good. I'm good, I'm good. Good. Last time we all hung out, we were bowling. <laughs> you guys kept up with that? You got it. <laughs> it's just work. I, we haven't been bowling yet for no. a while, so yeah. she's been focused on another season. Was it after I almost won? You guys were like, we got to take a break. I don't recall that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to each his own. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, um, we, th there was a push-up contest going on though. Where are mm. we at in that? Whoever win, we got 10 push-ups on come in. So if Moon win this game, wherever I'm at, if I'm in a meeting room, if I'm on the field, he can tell me I can get two, three, or how many he needs. He only get 10 total though. Whoa, 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 you need a spot? You need a spot? <laughs> you want full attention? Yeah, I need it. Yeah. We did a lot of push-ups. Yeah, we did, we did. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> uh, I don't think you should have really reminded him. Yeah, I don't even know how many you got left. Oh, no. OK. I forgot I got like uh, like 30 more I got to get. From him? From him. OK, good. Yeah, yeah. So there's your reminder. Appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. OK, so <laughs> in the Halloween spirit here, but obviously spirits were high after Monday night. Now, I want to break down the dancing. I need to know, scale 1 to 10. Justin Fields. Go ahead, Moon. This, you could take this one. I give him an eight. I give him an eight. Oh, an eight? Yeah. Sometimes he does the same thing over and over. Okay. So we kind of see it. He needs a to lot. mix it up a little. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a big fan of the show, so he's yeah, probably going to see yeah. this. <laughs> uh, I think Nikhil Harry's next. I think Nikhil, he actually looked pretty, uh, he looked good right here. Like he got some movement in his hips. Yeah. Uh, his feet are coordinated. Uh, that's probably the first time I've seen that. Yeah. Um, but he looks good for the first time I'm dancing. Guys, our guy Cole. <laughs> oh, man. He just happy What's to be that? here. He just happy he's to be just here. He's happy to be there. Yeah. He's doing a little just of like these. stomp around. It's kind of like a move I would probably do. We're going to get him right. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so our segment, dunk it or drop it. Dunk it means that you love it. Drop it is you're just not that into it. So we're doing a special Halloween edition. First up, candy corn. Dunk it or drop it? Drop it. Not a fan? I can do like, oh, I can do like five of them. What? Five of the candy Five corn. candy corns? I'd go Snickers before candy corn. I mean, yeah, but candy corn is like cliche. It's something that's there you can just grab and just like, uh. It's true. Corn. It's, it's cool. like a little grab and go. <laughs> Fall candles. Drop it. Absolutely no. Really? It's a no go. Not even like a little, you know, warm vanilla, yeah. apple spice. I'm a, I'm a dunk it because I love pumpkin spice and I love my house smelling good. So, no, I love candles. There you go. Uh, eating pumpkin seeds. Drop it. Dunk it. Oh, yeah? Pumpkin seeds? Yes, bro. Yeah, Did after you, you scoop them out, you I cook them? You, dry, you bake them in the oven? You put some seasoning? That's all you No. Pumpkin spice lattes from Dunkin'. Dunkin'. I'm with you. Okay. I love it. That's our Halloween edition of Dunk It or Drop It. All right, time for our fan question, which is in our munchkin box. So go ahead, pick up the munchkin box, and um, I promise nothing's going to jump out of yeah, there. Yeah, that's what we got. And uh, you get to pick a question from the Bears fans. All work? right, David, what do you got? This is what's your go to game day breakfast? So for me, I typically eat, um, depending on what time we plan, if we plan at like noon, I eat uh, some egg whites, some kind of steel cut oatmeal um, with some cinnamon, some honey. Um, I have like a, it's weird. I have like a garlic tomato herb, like the tomatoes. And I'll have uh, some turkey bacon. Wow, and I'm, healthy. I'll chill out with that. Nice. All right, what's your question? Uh, what's the most recent TV show you watched? Um, it's a TV show called The Mo. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a build-up story. You know, you try to figure out who's... You got, like, like 10 or 15 people start of the show, and then everybody's trying to figure out who's, like, the, the person that's sabotaging all the Ooh. missions and whatnot. It's pretty neat. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. What's your most recent show? Uh, so most recent show is season three of Love is Blind. Yeah, oh, so. I'm watching that too. <laughs> yeah, so I can't watch it no more. I'm not feeling a connection there. We just got to watch it just to get to the reunion. I, yeah, I'm with you. Yes. Yeah, so. I'm with you. Love is Blind. Didn't know you'd be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right, guys. Well, thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you guys next week on Sipping with Frieden, brought to you by Duncan.